Why, why, why you want to go on your Skype, man? Uh, he wants to see himself. Yeah, I would like to see myself on uh, on the camera, yeah. I'm not a shadow person like uh, Mr. Adam or Christian Press or the other guy here. Uh, you are Justin, not a shadow person behind. because the you problem is that nobody is going to kill you radio. if you are a apostate. Nobody is going to shouting. kill you stop if you are an apostate. Shut up, you shouting. finished the sentence. Uh, listen, uh, uh, hat, hat listen, you started accusing. Hat, 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 you came hat, hat, up with more, an accusation. It, it, it's more, it's more so listen, you, 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 listen. We no, are no, a shadow no, person. We shout. are a shadow person because people like you in the Muslim country kill us. Remove all the apostate law, remove all the blasphemies law, and I will be the first one to show my face. So do not come up and start with an accusation. You stated by yourself what the implication is. Do you want me to show your words right now on screen? Do so do to, not start do with an listen? accusation to begin with. Do you want to listen or do you want to shout? No, I do not want to listen if you are going to accuse something without no. a without an evidence. So please do not do that. Otherwise, uh, I'll be quiet and calm. Uh, so uh, keep and quiet and calm. And then let, let's have, have a nice uh, conversation and not uh, arguing and shouting. And, and don't accuse. Accuse? Don't accuse and don't imply what? something. Uh, now, why, why carry on. Why are you scared of uh, the truth? What do you mean by truth? I am not showing my screen. Because the truth is there. I am actually showing the truth. Talking. You Just guys kill people. You, you, you guys kill people. You, hello, 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 hello. You guys kill hello. people and you hello. approved hello. it hello. on live stream. Uh, and now you have a problem why we are not showing the face. Uh, What's the problem over here? Do you want to marry me? What is the problem? <laughs> why you see why you want to see my face? You want to see what my evidence is. So work with the evidence not by the face now carry on according to your bible uh, the non-believer should be put to death according to your bible the apostate should be put to show death. show me where in the bible says uh, apostate uh, should uh, be put to death uh, show me don't uh, accuse so, bring so, the so, verse man uh, uh, Bring the verse. I will. Uh, whenever I, will bring she, whenever the verse. I uh, am saying uh, something, I prove it. So show the verse. Uh, Where a uh, should be put to that. Give me one second. Give me one second. Because I wasn't ready to come on, but uh, as long and don't come as on, go and, off, uh, run away. So basically, if you are saying something, you have to prove it. Show me where it says a should of be course, put to of that. Course, of course. Of course. Give me one second. Let me get my paper because. Okay, you know, get your paper. In the meantime, anyway, guys, to, there are. Meantime, so, so go find your paper your first. Friend. Go find your paper first. You you stated something. You have to prove it. Go find your paper first. Stop, In the meantime. Stop talking. Stop shouting. Talk no, not stop talking. Now. You are finding your paper. What's the problem? Go find your paper. In the meantime, Nigga, I'm, I'm saying, saying telling you don't there stop are shouting. Thirteen countries in the world. There are thirteen countries, Islamic countries in the world, where we have these apostate laws. Whereas there is not a single country in the world who would say, if you leave Christianity, you will be killed. None, zero, nada. But thirteen countries in the world have apostate law. If you leave Islam, you will either be put to jail, your kids will be taken away from you, or your marriage will be nullified, or you will be put to death, or you will be put in jail. Thirteen. Go Google it. I don't even have to say so anything. And I, if you want, I can show it as well right now. But it is there. And let alone, there are certain countries where there is unwritten laws. The mobs do that because Muhammad said that. Yahya himself agreed to that. I have a live stream with Yahya where he agreed to that. So now he is accusing us again. You still looking, Mr. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes, he will I'm look looking. for the whole. Uh, he will look for a year uh, and he, he will not a... be able to find it. No, he will no, look for ten me. years or hundred thousand years and he will not be able to find it because it's nowhere. No. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking anyway. You, you are good at talking. Yeah, I am good at talking and I'm good at proving, yeah, and yeah, I proved it. Okay, 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 okay. So while Mr. Yahya is still trying to find, let me show you something. 
because obviously Yaya would need a lot of time to do that. So guys, I guess, I guess Prophet Google is not helping. Oh no, Prophet Google will not be able to help him. Okay. How about, how about the okay? Let, let me let me give you uh, let me give you the reference you ask for. No, don't give me the reference. Show me. Yeah, Dotonomori thirteen six nine. Show Read me. It if you show me if your very own brother or your son or daughter or the wife you love or your closest friend secretly entice you saying let's go and worship other god uh god that neither you nor your father have known gods of the people around you were near or far from the end of the land to the other or god of the other religion do not yield to him or listen to him, show him no pity, do not spare him or shield him. You must certainly put him to death. Your hand must be the first and putting him to death, and then the hand of the, the old people. This is for anyone who changed his religion and uh, worship another God than the God of Israel. This is Deuteronomy 13.6.9. Uh, Deuteronomy 13, 6, 9. Yes, I just read it for you. Perfect. So now, Deuteronomy, yeah. Deuteronomy applies on Christianity. Uh, didn't you hear that uh, the guy My who question, you, do you know uh, what my question uh, is? Let me explain to you. I'm answering do, you. So have some manner. Do you know what manner, my question is? Have some manner. Have some manner, please. I please. asked a certain question. Uh, uh, I asked a certain question. Can you give me the answer of the certain question that I asked? I'm answering you. So wait for me to finish, then you can answer. Uh, you can ask, OK? Uh, no, you already stated something. First, you need to go to that, and then finish. we will go where. This so now, the Deuteronomy, does the law of the Deuteronomy applies to the Christians? Yes, it does. Brother, uh, where, yes, it does. where does it, where does where does Jesus said uh, that if the you, law of Deuteronomy applies you, to the Christians? If, if you close your mouth, you will hear the answer. No, so, I will not be able to hear the answer because I'm going to show you. Read me no, what no, it no, says. No, no, I read you. I read for you. You just... Uh, you don't read for me. I'm going to show you. Uh, my brother, show my screen. No, so it no, says, no, 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 it no, says no. that Jesus came, Quran chapter number 4, verse number 160. It says Jesus came and he made unlawful certain things which were lawful. Certain things which were lawful. Your Quran actually agrees to our testimony, I, the New I Testament, am, and I says am, that Jesus made certain things which were lawful and unlawful. So Deuteronomy is an Old Testament, and I'm not even going into the context of that verse. Are, Forget the context. Very, you are I'm actually showing person, Quran person, is actually you denying no you 100%. Like you, you, have you, no manners, you, you have no manners, and you don't want to listen. You will, to if you over. will. Uh, yeah. Ayub, 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 you need to tell him. Ayub is to, not even here. You know, you're so scared. You're slipping your tongue. Adam, you Adam, lost Adam, all the Adam, ground. Adam, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this yeah. is not a conversation. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. answer as the yeah, guy yeah, is talking yeah. over me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah said, tell me. you said to Adam that your religion... I know what I said to Adam. Let's, uh, I, let me finish. Let's, you say don't. No, no, cut you me don't need to finish. You don't need to finish. Let me let me finish what I'm saying because no, he asked no, me a you question. No, no, finish what you're saying. You listen to me now. Okay. You said. Now you want to talk over me, all of you? No, we're not talking to over you. I told you, listen. Let me finish, and you try to take over. You stated that our law says who leaves his religion must be killed. Adam asked you, where does it say in our laws? you brought something from the old testament that does not apply on us as christians and he just even proved it to you from your own quran okay. so where is the law that applies on me as a christian that says if i left christianity i must put to death thank you very much uh, this is fantastic uh, i will remind you uh, jesus said and this is jesus teaching the god whom you supposed to obey 
and take his commandment as uh, as a commandment for you as a Christian, as long as you say that uh, 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 the Old Testament doesn't Answer apply to you. Uh, Jesus say, uh, Jesus said, uh, Jesus said, do not think I come to abolish or destroy the law, and anyone who omit even a strong wrong of the now you change the verse now you change mouth. the verse I didn't shut think. up you change the verse he said i came to fulfill do not change the verse of my bible you okay, are and then and you say shut you up are, don't just say shut up unless you do not change the verse number one number two he gave the new testament the new law we go by the new law in the new testament show me where it says Jesus himself, according to your own Quran, is saying that he changed the laws. I'm not he made I'm, unlawful, I'm, lawful. I'm giving you, I'm giving you evidence from your own, uh, your yeah, own you're Bible. Giving me, you're giving me evidence from Matthew. I know what. Uh, uh, Islam defender. Again, the question was, where does Please. Jesus say is, you as Christians, you leave Christianity, you must be put to death. Okay, Romans. 1 24 32 and fidel and fidel and gays should die uh, uh, as well to chronicle 15 12 13 non infidels and gays must die where does it say if you leave christianity you should die i just i just told you jesus said i don't think i come to abolish or destroy the law as that that does not say if you leave christianity that means you should be put to death okay please understand what you read your statement was if you leave your religion you should be put to death i'm a christian where does it say if you are a christian and you leave christianity you should be put to death that's the question as abbas said uh, shame on you people because you don't like to listen and you just interrupt and talk over and really you are very traitors and coward and this is uh, the way you are from day one when Jesus peace upon him and the most coward person is you who doesn't believe in Jesus and the truth about Jesus and then you call us coward so do not tell me that we are covered you don't even know the basic ABCD of the Bible and you come here and tell us what the Bible means when did we proclaimed Quran and explanation of Quran by ourselves? We always show what is written in the Tafasir and everything. So where does in our exegesis, it says that the Christians have to abide by all the laws of the Deuteronomy. Okay, if you okay, can show okay. me, show me. Let show me, me show now. you. Let me show you uh, this, show me. this Jesus you're talking about and taking him as your God. He is a racist. And Matthew hey, 15. that is not the point. First, prove the point that you stated, or you should say sorry that you accused us. Then we will go to the next point. So, first, acknowledge that the first statement of yours was an accusation, and you are sorry that you made a false accusation. Then we can go to the second point. Don't dance, Mr. Yahya. Seriously, you made a claim. You need to prove it before you jump to something else. Your own, your own uh, teaching of Christ, you reject it. And uh, Jesus, Mr. Raha, we're not looking for a song and a dance. We're looking for answers. You made a claim. Prove the claim. You're going all over the place. We talk to you about the moon. You jump to the sun and then you tell me I answered. Your answer has nothing to do with the question and the claim you made. Stick to the claim that you made. Your claim was if you leave Christianity, you should be put to death. Where does the Bible, according to us as Christians, say that? Stay to that one. L listen to me. Can you just let me finish one verse without uh, interruption? May I uh, may I say something without interruption? Mr. Yahya, you can say all you want as long as you explain the term that you said. When you leave Christianity, you should be killed. That's what we're talking about. That's the claim you made. Stay on that. Once you finish that, you can go to something else. Uh, first, uh, Jesus, he didn't come with a new religion as he is a follower of Moses' law. And as I confirm and said to you, uh, Jesus...
how could be Jesus the follower of the law that he made? Huh? Can you please tell us how would the creator be a follower? Can you please let me finish and don't interrupt and don't put another question while I'm talking? And uh, uh, Abbas was really uh, uh, truth to his word. Uh, you are very he rude. He was a coward you cannot... and he was a coward no, no, and he ran coward, away. He, he was a he coward, doesn't... he was abusive and he ran away. That is the reality. Now, first thing he, first, you made he... a claim. You made a claim, you have to prove that claim before you go into any other subject. Or you can just simply say, I'm sorry, I said it, I could not, I was not able to comprehend that. And let's move to the second point. But finish the first point before you go into any other point. That's what I'm asking. Are you sorry that you falsely accused us to begin?